we are keeping our partnership strictly within Sandwich to promote the town and the businesses that make it up. And from a mobile standpoint, we are using our new mobile-friendly website where the guests can access these deals and discounts. To get here, however, we have to do extensive research on the industry, the business, our target market, and the town in general. In order to have an educated conversation with you to get the process of Earl created, we did secondary online research into industry standards, the demographics of the town, the geography of the town, and the location. The location of the town. In terms of primary research, we had a multi-level process. Phase one of the process involved an informational interview with owner Brian Clifford. Our goals for this interview were to find out where the Earl of Sandwich stands in the realm of promotions and marketing, their social media following, and what he would like to see as a result of our solo mobile plan. Based on this interview, we created a SWOT analysis. For strengths, we have a really good central location for guests who want to explore Sandwich and the rest of the Cape and Massachusetts. And our guests are being satisfied. However, our major weakness is that there's a low return rate. Guests are leaving satisfied, but they're not coming back. Another weakness that's out of our control is the seasonal location. We do have to close for the winter. But the major opportunity we found was that we're surrounded by local businesses that are in the same situation as us, but we're not direct competition. So they're willing to partner with us. And the major threat we found were the abundance of other motels and inns in the area for guests to stay at. Taking this information, we moved into our second phase of the research, which is where we went out and spoke to guests. We gave them a paper survey because they are older, so they're not as reliant on mobile devices. So what we wanted to get out of that is to figure out how they had heard of us, what they were interested in doing, and what they were interested in doing in the town. We were surprised to find that 71% of guests hadn't stayed with us before. But we were interested to learn what they were interested in when they stayed in Sandwich. 100% were interested in restaurant dining experiences, nearly 80% interested in retail, um, just over 40% are interested in entertainment, and under 20% are interested in service services. This information was vital in moving forward to phase three, which is where we went out and spoke to businesses, because we needed to figure out who we should, who we should be targeting and what we should be asking on behalf of the guests. So for phase three, we surveyed the business owners. Like our guests, they're older, so it was important for us to make connections with them, so we also made them a paper survey. But the most important qualitative data we got came from the conversations we had with them. This is where we learned what businesses would be willing to partner with us and what kind of deals they'd be willing to offer our guests. Here, we have a sample week of deals. As you can see, they went in many different directions with the deals they offered. Some of them offer a free item with the purchase of a certain dollar amount. Others give a percentage off of your total bill. And some of them offer a free incentive with the purchase of other items. It was very interesting for us to see what direction they took this idea in and how willing they were to work with us and our guests. From our research, we discovered the driving force behind Earl, which is our target market. Our guest survey allowed us to uncover the demographics of the guests who stay at the motel and their specific wants and needs. We determined that our target market is 50 plus who likely chose the Earl because of its quaint and cozy aspects of it. They are millennials who are on the search of their next Snapchat story or an Instagram worthy photo. They are middle-aged couples who want to emerge themselves in the sa in Sandwich's community by going to the local businesses and visiting the tourist attractions around town. With our clearly defined target market in mind, our next step was to evaluate the motel's current use of solo mo marketing. The first area we needed to address was social media, because this is a make or break for small businesses today. Right now, the motel has a very minimal presence on their two social media platforms, which are Facebook and Instagram. On both of these sites, the posts are very sporadic, which makes them ineffective in the long run, but that seems to be working for the motel because they never have an issue with filling rooms during the on-season. That is because their target market is not concerned with social media.
In fact, they only have 52 followers on Instagram and 165 likes on Facebook. And those are some pretty cringeworthy That's numbers. Pretty <laughs> but we knew because of that, reamping their social media would get us nowhere. And because social media doesn't have an effect on our target market, we knew developing an app specifically for the URL would just be a waste of money. Instead, we had to look at what our target market wanted for us to create our plan. Everyone we surveyed liked the idea of greater town engagement. So we took that idea to the local businesses and they gave us back the results we were looking for. The guests wanted to be connected more to the town and the town gave us deals that would have the guests coming back. And from this, we developed our plan, Earl. As you can see, the partnerships that we formed gives, gives the guests everything they're looking for. This is because Earl was tailored specifically for the guests' wants and needs. Socially, the guests wanted to be wanted to be engaged with the businesses more, so we gave them deals and discounts. Locally, the guests wanted to stay in Sandwich, so we kept the we kept our partnership strictly within Sandwich. And mobily, the guests wanted to be able to access these deals on a basic platform, so we chose to create a new mobile-friendly website as opposed to ramping our social media or creating an app. All these factors together create a solo mall marketing approach that will have the guests coming back summer after summer. In terms of dollar amounts, this solo mall plan pays for itself in one summer night. There's a one-time cost of $2,500 that includes building a new mobile-friendly website. Our research, our research showed us that it is more cost-effective to rebuild to build a new website rather than to try to revamp an existing one. Then, we figured the website would need about two hours of updating a week, and based on the wages you pay your employees, we gathered that it would cost $32 a week. So the year one total is $3,524, and then every year after that, it'll only be $1,024 to keep the website updated. The costs involved with up running the motel are very basic because you don't have to worry about a mortgage payment or a rent payment. You just have to focus on basic costs like wages, insurance, utility, util, utilities, etc. Our goal with Earl is to create a community that the guests will want to come back to again and again. We are forging connections between businesses and guests that wouldn't otherwise exist. We are engaging a town to bring together the local economy and improve it. And we are bringing mobility to something that goes beyond just a simple restaurant suggestion. Together, this formula is going to create, turn the Earl of Sandwich community into one that guests will want to come back to year after year. We'd like to thank you for your time and open it up to any questions you may have for us. Okay. <laughs> Overhead costs is the word you're looking for. Okay.